In this video, we will learn about two ways of creating tables in Power Query M language. For this, in the Power Query editor, we need to right click and uh, choose Blank Query and go to the advanced editor and we need to delete and here we can write hash table and parenthesis and here we need to define the column headers right so the first header will be student name and uh, the second header will be age and the third will be marks so this is the column header right and now we need to put some record for each uh, header for each column comma and here we have to because all the records are are our list so we need to put list of lists here so curly bracket and then again curly bracket for the first list and it will be the student name is for example student one and the age is hash date and here we have to write here one nine nine zero comma zero uh, one comma zero two right and then we have to write the third parameter is uh, for example 90 and in the same way we can put one more record in the form of list so we just need to copy comma and the second record and this is student 2 the date of uh, birth is to 92 and the marks are 75 so these are the two records in this way we have defined the the table structure and let's try to click done so here you can see we can see these two records and uh, we have student name age and marks the important thing to remember here you, you can see here it's a ABC the type is uh, like this is any type right it's a like a text type ABC one two three so it it can have like text or the number or anything right so here you can see here we have a date but the type is is a, it's a like a generic type right and uh, we can do like uh, for example date and for the marks we can click here a uh, whole number so this is one way and uh, now try to create one more query so where we don't need to do these steps manually so how we can do that let's go to let's click um, blank query advanced editor and here we have to write let me zoom it so here we have to write hash table and uh, then we have to declare the header types first we we need to write here type table and uh, hash student name is equal to what is the type of uh, this column this is text right comma then the second again we need to write the second header for the date of birth so it will be dub is equal to date the type of the uh, date of birth column then the third one is hash marks here we have to write is equal to uh, number 
so this is the definition here we have declared the column headers and their types so we need to write here comma and now again the same stuff we have to write here the list of lists to define the records so this is the main list and it will contain uh, two lists because we need to add two records so this is for the first list we need to write here the first record so the first value will be student one and then the date of birth so hash date so one nine nine zero comma zero one zero two and then the marks will be so we, um, here we can write here 90 comma we can copy this or we can copy the co complete list and here we have to write here comma and paste so this is student 2 date of birth is 93 and uh, the marks are 80 so here you can see we are getting one uh, indication of uh, error so we just we need to remove this comma and we also need to remove this comma because we don't need because here it is the complete record so that's all and uh, now we need to click done and here you can see it's automatically fetch the right type this is the text type this is the dob and uh, th this one is like here you can see th this is the uh, date here you can see the icon of the date and here 1.2 this is the data type for the number so in this way you can create tables in power query using m language if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you